Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Some bad news for some groups, I gotta tell you that. But hey, what can you do? I mean, people are people and they uh, sometimes disagree with certain things, sometimes they agree with other things. And in a democracy, we like you know the will of the people to be expressed freely and the majority should rule and the mi minority should follow what the majority says. That's the principle of dem democracy, right? So, we like it or not. This is an article coming from Associated Press from September 18th. This is the title. Thousands march in Turkey to demand ban on LGBTQ groups. So, an anti-LGBTQ group marched Sunday in Istanbul demanding that LGBTQ associations be shuttered and their activities banned in the largest demonstration of its kind in Turkey. Several thousand people joined the demonstration dubbed, and I'm quoting, the Big Family Gathering. Kursat Mikan, a speaker for the org organizers, said they had gathered more than 150,000 signatures to demand a new law from Turkey's parliament that would ban that would ban what they called LGBTQ propaganda, which they say pervades Netflix, social media, arts and sports. Hatis Muge or Muge, who works as a nanny, came to the gathering from Bursa province. And I'm quoting, people are here despite the rain for their children, for future generation, she said, urging the Turkish government to take action. And I'm quoting, they should save the family, they should save the children from this filth. End quote. The group held banners that read, and I'm quoting, Protecting the family is a national security issue, end quote. LGBTQ parades have not been allowed in Turkey since 2015. Well, ahead of Sunday's demonstration, the organizers circulated a video using images from past LGBTQ pride marches in Turkey. The video was included in the public service announcement list of Turkey's media watchdog. The video and the demonstration prompted an outcry from LGBTQ associations and other rights groups. The organizers of Istanbul Pride called on the governor's office to ban the event and authorities to take down the video, argue with bo arguing both were hateful. So those guys are arguing, trying to ban the LGBTQ and the LGBTQ association <laughs> tried to ban the event <laughs> so very very tolerant both sides if you can see of each other's views <laughs> all right so it says if ilga europe which works with lgbtq equality tweeted it was extremely concerned about the risks of violence and i'm quoting the Turkish state needs, needs to uphold its constitutional obligation to protect all its citizens against hate and violence, it said. Amnesty International's Turkey's office said public service announcements listing the event violated Turkey's equal and non-discriminatory discrimination principles. Top Turkish officials have called LGBTQ people perverts, quote-unquote, who aim to hurt traditional family values. Well, this is what some in uh, some Turks say in Turkey. And uh, I think that under the, uh, the right of free expression and free speech, you do the right thing of uh, following the legal channels, finding, uh, you know, asking for signatures, present the list with the signatures to the uh, representatives and they will debate very seriously and they will make a decision. That's the 
I would say, uh, how do you call it? Uh, that would happen here too. It's the same action and the same LGBTQ community, not community, but organizations, however we want to call them, can, t can do the same thing. They could rail and find, file a petition with signatures and they can hand it over to the elected officials and whomever takes care of this kind of stuff and they will discuss it and they will vote on it. That's how a system, a democratic system based on rule of law functions. Um, the thing with banning things, uh, let me tell you how that would work. Let's say I have a group here and you have a group there and I don't like your group for whatever reason, for whatever you do. And I'm saying, okay, I will, I want that group to be banned for whatever they do. Now let's say the government listens to me and you will be banned. Then you decide to petition the government and the government will ban me. So then whose rights were infringed? Yours and mine. So we infringed each other's rights or liberties and freedoms. Let's say I don't like people wearing uh, helmets when they ride bikes, file a petition, and then I don't like them do that. Okay, let's say some people don't like people carrying guns. They file a petition, and but that's the constitution that really blocks that. But they're going to bypass that. So you have people who say, well, I don't like people carrying guns. Well, I don't like people who talk about people who don't carry guns, who, people who carry guns. So how are we going to mix it? You know, I mean, I can, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is we can get in a banning war that nobody will be able to do anything. And eventually I'm going to get to that point or we're going to get to that point where I will say, I want to ban your free speech. And you're going to say, no, I want to ban your existence. You see, with banning, it's going to go there. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, I lived and I mean, not unfortunately, because it had its advantages living uh, under an oppressive, tyrannical system as communism in Romania, because you learn that have a direct experience. It doesn't mean that you have to have a direct experience, but there are certain things that remain inside of you. And then you uh, have a little um, uh, allergy when people talk about banning stuff and, and limiting your liberties and freedom because you go back to those times and I ran away from those times and I didn't like those times. And uh, if we are engaging, I ban you for that, I ban you, I, we're not going to do anything. And it's detrimental to all of us because we all want to do stuff. And then I'm going to ban something you like to do. And you're going to ban something that I like to do. The, the, the whole purpose is do, do not cause harm. That's how we should, if, if me, if I, let's say, carry a gun and I don't cause you harm by carrying a gun, I'm not saying I'm, I'm afraid. It's your problem if you're afraid. I mean, I don't like your face. Should I change it? You know what I mean? You don't go by that. But if you have a problem with me carrying a gun, it's not a bad thing unless something happens. I do it. You can't prevent uh, certain actions to occur, but to a certain extent. Preventing, that means again, banning doing stuff ahead of time. It's like you're saying, well, you have two adopted children. And that's a high, uh, let's say, uh, percentage of sexual abuse, sexual molestation in I'm just saying, I'll give me an example in or a scenario, better put, in the adopted, you know, families with adopted children. That means that what? I should not, I should ban adoption because it's a high rate of uh, sexual abuse or something. And everyone who, abu who wants to adopt, I will think that that person is a pervert. No, but pre you see, pre prevention goes as far as it goes to a certain point when it becomes detrimental to the society and other things. I, I mean, until I, it's like, oh, you're driving? Okay, I'm going to fine you because you might, um, uh, you know, speed up and then you're going to break the law or the whatever, driving faster and you're going to drive uh, faster than the speed limit. Preventively, I'm going to fine you. So I make sure you don't do it. Like this, we're not going to be able to do anything in, wor in the world. So here, I allow you to protest. I allow you to protest. I like. I will allow you to 
to uh, promote this, I will allow you to promote it and let the society decide the, its values and which way it goes. But banning, not good. Thank you, regardless which way. Um, thank you very much for being with me again today. I know there has to be some limitations. I'm not like a, uh, you know, anarchist, but still, I'm saying that that's the risk of banning one another. We're gonna cancel one another little by little. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.